16. Huge Coronation Street spoilers for next week. Next week's episodes of Coronation Street will be filled with emotional turmoil and dramatic confrontations. Maria will be left heartbroken as she uncovers the true extent of Liam's torment at the hands of bullies. Meanwhile, Simon's reckless actions will strain the relationship between Nick and Leanne. Additionally, tensions will escalate as Billy struggles to control his anger on Valentine's Day. Stay tuned for these gripping moments and more in the upcoming episodes. 1. Liam's ordeal continues as he returns to school. After his suspension, Liam bravely returns to school, only to be confronted with more bullying from Mason. Seeking solace, Liam retreats to work on his marionette during a break, but his efforts are shattered when Mason destroys it, while Dylan cruelly captures Liam's anguish on film. Meanwhile, Gary opens up to George about the troubling events surrounding Liam. George, realizing his earlier suspicions were correct, empathizes with Liam's plight and is deeply troubled by the extent of the bullying he's endured, dispelling any doubts about Dylan's innocence. 2. Maria discovers the full truth. Liam tells Maria that he's not going to school anymore as the bullying hasn't stopped. Maria urges Deputy Head Mrs. Crawshaw to take action, but she insists that she can't without solid proof. Maria creates a fake social media account to follow Liam's page. She's distressed to see the dozens of bullying comments that have been left for her son. Gary and Maria decide that Liam will have to change schools. However, Liam has tragically lost hope for his future and he searches online for ways to end his own life. Three, a disturbing discovery is made on Liam's laptop. Liam says a veiled goodbye to Maria as he visits the salon and tells her how much he loves her. Maria confronts Mason and Dylan about their vile bullying and while Mason is not remorseful, Dylan feels guilty. Liam has returned his laptop to Weatherfield High ahead of changing schools, and one of the teachers notices his concerning search history. When the school raises the alarm over Liam's suicidal thoughts, Maria rushes back to the flat to find Liam. She's relieved to find that Liam has decided not to end his own life, but it's clear that there's still a long journey ahead for the vulnerable teenager. 4. Sam Collapses at School Sam attends school as normal following his involvement in the car crash with Simon. However, he clearly isn't his usual self, and disaster strikes when he collapses. Sam is admitted to hospital, where Leanne is forced to tell Nick the full story about the crash. Leanne had told Nick that faulty brakes were to blame, but she finally confesses that she covered for Simon because he'd been drink driving. 5. Simon is kicked out. Simon is determined to take responsibility for his actions. This isn't enough for Nick, who kicks him out of the flat. Leanne bitterly accuses Nick of always putting his own son first. She's worried when she finds Simon huddled on a bench at Victoria Garden, having clearly slept there overnight. A remorseful Simon tells Leanne that Nick is right about him drinking too much and turning into his dad, Peter. 6. Leanne proposes to Nick. Leanne is proud of Simon as he vows to make a positive change following his recent drinking. Nick is not convinced which risks causing further tension between the couple. Toya tells Leanne that Nick was planning to propose to her before the drama kicked off with Simon. Leanne is inspired to get things back on track, so she pops the question to Nick at the bistro. Will he accept after their recent tensions over Simon? Whatever the outcome, David soon senses that Nick has reservations over his relationship and encourages him to be more honest with Leanne. 7. Bethany tries to make amends, Bethany is in Daniel's bad books for selling a story to Chit Chat magazine about his turbulent history with Daisy and Ryan. She promises not to do anything to hurt him again and also offers to speak to Daisy about the article. Bethany arranges a meeting with Daisy at the cafe to make amends, but their conversation quickly descends into an argument. 8. Bethany suffers another setback. Despite her efforts to resolve the situation, Bethany is forced to admit to Daniel that Chit Chat magazine is refusing to pull the article she'd written. Daniel reacts badly, but Bethany suggests they can merely keep quiet about the article and hope that nobody they know reads it. 9. Bobby seeks answers over Tina McIntyre. Bobby notices some resentment towards him when Rita and Mary realize that he's the son of killer Rob Donovan. He suggests to Carla that it's time for him to hear the truth about Tina, the girl that his dad killed. Carla explains all, 
leaving Bobby shocked to realize that Rob didn't kill Tina in self-defense like he'd been led to believe. 10. Summer considers her future. Summer tells Billy that she has been offered an opportunity to study in the U.S. She promises to turn down the move, as she doesn't want to be away from Paul in his final months. When Paul finds out about these conversations, he encourages Summer to accept the offer as he doesn't want to hold her back. 11. Billy turns violent at the Bistro Billy goes all out for Paul on Valentine's Day. He treats Paul to a motorbike and sidecar ride and surprises him with a barbershop quartet at the Bistro. The atmosphere turns sour when Paul recognizes one of his schoolmates, Benno, behaving rowdily as part of a stag party celebrating nearby. Benno heads over and insensitively forces Paul to dance, which prompts Billy to react angrily and punch Benno. 12. Bobby tries to get closer to Lauren. Lauren shares her concerns with Bobby, as she worries that she won't be able to pass her exam because the books she needs are already on loan from the library. Bobby kindly gives the list of books to Evelyn, hoping she can track them down at the charity shop instead. Bobby later presents Lauren with a small bunch of flowers at the cafe, but he realizes that he has competition when a delivery man arrives with a much larger bouquet that someone has sent to her. 13. Lauren's secrecy continues Lauren's phone rings, and she seems rattled as she tells the mystery caller to leave her alone. It's clear that Lauren is struggling as she secretly reads a final demand from her energy company over an unpaid bill. Lauren finally accepts Bobby's offer of a date. Max and Sabrina later pay Lauren a visit at her flat and find her scantily dressed. She tells them that she has been recording videos for the Ovid's website. 14. Amy demands answers. Amy takes a look at the romantic Valentine's card that Steve gave to Tracy, but she's surprised to learn that Tracy didn't bother to buy him one. At the flower shop, Tracy's affair turns sour as Tommy tells her that they're finished. The tense conversation is interrupted by Amy, who demands to know what's going on. Later in the week, Tracy tries to get things back on track as she encourages Tommy to join her in the back of the shop. But will he be tempted? 15. Joel tries to make amends. Dee Dee tells Alia that Joel has stopped all contact with her since they declared their love for each other. She's unaware that Joel has become distracted after being confronted by a mystery woman at the bistro. When Joel finally resurfaces, he claims that he has been busy at work and offers to cook Dee Dee a romantic dinner to make amends. 16. Gav drums up new business. Gav takes proactive steps to boost his window cleaning business by distributing fresh flyers, aiming to attract new customers and expand his clientele. Armed with enthusiasm and determination, he hits the streets, engaging with potential clients and highlighting the quality and affordability of his services. Gav's strategic marketing efforts pay off when Steve and Tim, impressed by the professionalism and presentation of his flyers, decide to take a chance and enlist his services for their window cleaning needs. Steve and Tim, having been won over by Gav's promotional materials and confident demeanor, eagerly anticipate the results of their decision to give his window cleaning business a try. As Gav sets out to demonstrate his skills and expertise, Steve and Tim eagerly await the outcome, hopeful that their decision will lead to sparkling clean windows and a reliable, trustworthy service provider. Gav's proactive approach to marketing not only attracts new customers, but also establishes his reputation as a dependable and capable professional in the competitive world of window cleaning services. If you're enjoying the content, would you like to subscribe to the channel for more updates and videos? Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for more thanks.